it all started four hours ago. This place is magic. Freedom, freedom. On this side, you've got Aswan, the city. The hustle and bustle, the banks, the touristic market. And on the other side, you've got peace, tranquility, history, and magic. Grammy, can you tell us something? So your cafeteria is there, and on top of the mountain, the Aga Khan. Hey, Aga Khan. Bara Aga Khan, da kiyim wa fi min Pakistan asli. Jawiz wahda Fransawiya, isma Habijam wa Aslamit wa gayarit isma wa Mahabiba. Mulla tnem matfunin hena yam. So guys, if you want to visit the botanical garden, you can actually stop there. The ticket is pretty cheap. Today we just want to continue. And here you can actually rent these villas. So if you want a flat or the whole villas to make a party for four or five days, you can do that. Just think about it. I wish you were here. I wish you could breathe the peace that you have on the Nile. There is something that really relaxes your soul and connects you to the universe. And actually, if you continue here, you can also visit the Philae Temple. There is also the vid... <laughs> if you continue here, there is also the Philae Temple. Go check the video in the, in the channel. This place is magic. We're gonna talk for a second to chill a bit, buy some juice, some water. Nice, colorful tent. Beautiful decoration. You really have a sense of rural life. Thank you very much, Karim. Very nice tent, man. So just a pit stop to get some drinks and continue. And the boat right there is carrying a cow. Do you see that? You can feel the boat uh, struggling, the currents are very strong. If you want to go through the cataract, it's much better to go with a motorboat. While if you want to do the small tour, the Feluca will do the job. If you keep on navigating south, you'll reach some really evocative and charming little islands with trendy bars, cafes and guest house built at home. This is one of the best hidden jewels of Aswan. We're now getting to the Ekramis cafeteria and place. We're gonna check it out and then maybe climb that mountain and enjoy the view from there. Ah, beautiful sand. Feels like sugar. <laughs> Feels like we landed on Mars suddenly. Well, that's a creative idea to reuse an empty bottle. The cafe. And this is your cafe, eh, Grammy? Oh, yeah. Beautiful, the sunset place. Yeah. The perfect place to enjoy the sunset. Basically, <laughs> the feet sink down in the sand. It's actually much harder than it looks, but I guess the view makes it worth it. Look at that. I can't find the words to describe this should i find the words you find the words write down in the comments how can you describe this flabbergasting yeah. <laughs> The true Nubian atmosphere. 
So guys, we've been chilling some more in the tent and now in the night we're gonna sail on the Nile, get back on Elephant Island. A magic moment guys, a beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you Ikrami. This is just fucking epic guys, sorry but this is legendary. That's Aswan and the Elephantine Island. So we go back onto Elephantine Island and we're crossing it to the other side. That's what happens in Egypt, guys. Fresh mango as a gift. What do you want more? Thank you very much, sir. This one is a date palm. So we're walking in a Nubian village in an island at night. Mamma mia! And suddenly, guys, on the other side, the light of the cities, that's a swan on the other side of the Nile. And there, the guest house we're staying in. Incredible, huh? Just as a... And suddenly, we're in a totally different reality. So here, you can take the boat to get to the other side of the Nile. The public boat, which costs five Egyptian pounds. If you want to take a private one, it's more expensive. And here, you've got a series of shops that do cafe, they sell herbs. You may think these are just for tourists, but it's actually for locals as well. Ikrame is buying a here black pepper and cumin, different type of spices. Spices, coffee and nuts are particularly good in Aswan. If you want to find out more, check the next video.